There is no real good method in removing a green screen using photo editing tools like Affinity Photo. Usually it involves making selections and applying color corrections to remove the green spill. However, most video editing tools have a pretty good green screen remover, so why not use those? In this video, I will quickly demonstrate how we can use DaVinci Resolve to remove the green screen from a photo. But you probably can use any video editing software. I prefer DaVinci Resolve as it has a generous free version and also, very important, a simple option to export an image. So the first thing you do is just to create a project in DaVinci Resolve and open up the Edit tab which will look something like this. We can now drag and drop our image with the green screen to the timeline. This will automatically create a new timeline and add the image to our project. With the image selected in the timeline, we now need to move over to the Fusion tab where the magic will happen. You probably get a screen like this. DaVinci Resolve uses note editing and if you're not familiar with it, it might look a bit awkward. I'm not going to focus on what this exactly is, but basically we have a starting note or an input, which is the media in note, and an ending note or an output, which is the media out note. We also get two preview screens. The preview on the right is already been set. It has been set to the media out node. We can see this by this little white dot showing up in the node. Let me select the media in node and press 1 on the keyboard. This will assign the left preview to the selected node which is our media in node. Perfect! On the left we see our input and on the right our output. And as you see they are the same. This is because the media in is transferred to our media out directly without any changes. We can now add a note in between which will remove the green screen from the media in. So let's make sure the media in note is selected and press shift space on your keyboard. This will open up the note tool selector with a search option. In video editing, removing a green screen is called keying and is done with a keyer tool. So let's type in keyer in the search box. We get a couple of options, but for a simple green screen removal, the delta keyer is the one we are looking for. Let me select that and press add. Notice how a note called delta keyer has been added in between the two existing nodes. Let's make sure this note is selected. Now, on the right we have our inspector which will show the options or the parameters for the selected note, which in this case is the delta keyer we just added. In order to have the keyer do its magic, a color needs to be specified which needs to be removed. We get this nice color picker and when I press and hold the color picker, I can select a color. I can use a preview window to select the green which it needs to remove. You will need to keep holding the mouse button until you have selected the perfect color. Each time I move to a different color, it will give you a preview of the end result and this is super useful in helping you to find the color which works best. I think this looks perfect. The Delta Keyer already applied a spill removal which defaults to neutral gray. This probably will be good enough, but we can change it to a different color by using the color picker from the reference field. Notice while I'm moving the color picker how this affects the end result. In this example, you probably would want a neutral skin color to make sure the greens in the skin are neutralized to the skin color. Beautiful! There is one more option called the pre-blur which I want to highlight. By increasing this value, the subject border will be blurred and in some cases this might be useful. In our case I don't think we need it. Once happy with the end result, you can now right click on the preview and select save image. I will put the output to PNG and press save after I have given it a name. 
let's preview the exported file. Awesome! We now have a transparent background without the green screen. How easy was that? I can switch over to Affinity Photo and load the image. Let me quickly add a background fill and play with the fill color so we can see how well this worked. Pretty amazing. And that, my friends, is the easiest way to remove a green screen. I hope you liked this video and thanks again for watching.